Hi everybody, today we're going to be looking at installing a nucleus hive or a nuke with Cedar's sister and flow film maker Mirabai. Okay, so we're going to start off today just by giving the entrance a little bit of a puff of smoke. A nuke hive is a great way to start your first hive. The nuke contains three to five frames of bees with a queen. You can purchase a nuke online or from your local beekeeper. Maybe just give a little bit of that's it. Okay. Oh wow. I may need you to just hold that open for yeah. me. We don't have one today, but you most likely will be using a screened bottom board. It's really important before installing your bees to make sure that the core flute slider is on the top slot, closing up the ventilation. This way the bees won't try and get into the hive through the bottom mesh. So I'm just going to lift out this edge here. It's always important to work gently and slowly with your bees, being careful not to squash any of these beautiful girls. So now we'll just lift the frames out one by one and place them into the flow brood box in the same order as the nuke, making sure that your hive is nice and level from left to right. This is important so your bees can build nice straight natural comb. That one's looking really good, isn't it? That's great. Amazing. You like to just grab the top? Yep. Thing from me. There we go. This brood looks really healthy. There's a nice mix of worker brood, honey and pollen. Looks really nice, this doesn't it? It's like going yeah, great. It's great. Can you just puff some smoke down there for me? Just a little bit. Don't want to squash these little girls. <laughs> yeah. The edge frames, they can be a little harder to get out. As often, there's some brace comb attached to the edge of the box. So just slide your hive tool in by the edge and gently pry it sideways to unstick it. Okay. So they're looking really, really healthy, these. There's lots of brood on this side. How yep. about that side? Oh, there's plenty yeah, on there too. Plenty of brood. So now we've transferred all the frames in, we'll add three foundationless frames to complete the eight frame brood box. Today we've chosen to place the extra empty frames in between the existing frames. This is just an added precaution to be sure that they build nice and straight. If they have a straight comb as a guide, they will usually build straight but it's common practice to put the new frames on the outside of the existing brood frames. Ready. Okay, Mirabai, there you go. Right, you can pop thanks. that. It's your hive. <laughs> All right, girls. I hope you like your new home. Now that we've transferred all the frames, there are quite a lot of bees left in the nuke box. This is when the normal rules of being gentle and calm with your bees doesn't apply. The best way is to get the bees off something is to do a quick, swift, sharp movement. Otherwise, if you try and brush or shake them slowly, they just get annoyed and hold on tighter. So we'll just give a quick shake of the nuke over the brood to get the majority of the bees off. There are a few bees left. We can just place the nuke off to the side, near the front, and the rest of the bees will make their way over to the new hive themselves. Okay, Mirabai, we might put the inner cover on now. to squash any of these little girls. If you live in a location that's got a cold winter, you might like to add another brood box for a double brood. But as with any beekeeping, there's many opinions and ways of doing things. The best way to find out what's right for your area and climate is to connect with your local bee group or established beekeepers. There you go, that looks gorgeous. Look at that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Home for you girls. So this hive's going really, really well. There's lots of brood in there, so I reckon in about a week we can pop that nice flow super on. Make sure you keep a close eye on your girls as they settle in, making sure they're building nice straight comb. It's much easier to fix cross combing when it's just started. Please subscribe to the Flow Hive YouTube channel. And if you have any questions or comments, 
pop them in the box below.